what's up guys welcome back to another video on the texas rangers report and obviously a big day for the texas rangers um as you know we have made some moves um let me know if you guys can see this all uh, in the comment section let me know if you can see this and hear this i'm pretty sure you can but the big news today we went off and we signed marcus simeon to a seven-year deal worth 175 million and that roughly gives him 25 million dollars a year and then later on we and marcus simeon has a qualifying offer i'll break into all this all the details later and then a few hours later no actually about the same time we went and we signed cole calhoun um we're all familiar with him he played for the Angels. He's 34, I think. The Diamondbacks didn't pick up his uh, club option for $9 million, but we still don't know the details on that. I'm guessing it comes in around somewhere below $9 million. And then right as I was about to start this, we signed John Gray. <laughs> um, I had to change the thumbnail, had to change the title. But we signed John Gray to a four-year, $56 million contract. I think he goes in and he becomes the ace, if you will, right away for the Texas Rangers. And this kind of reminds me similar to the Mike Miner, Lance Lynn, Kyle Gibson type of deals over the past few years because it just gives me that similar vibe. So his average annual value for... John Gray will be around 14 million, so a little higher than those those deals for Kyle Gibson, Lance Lynn, etc. Those were all around 10 million, but this was definitely interesting. I knew the Rangers. I made a YouTube short yesterday on the channel saying, or maybe two days ago, that the Rangers were interested in John Gray, and I did predict that the Rangers were trying to. Um, make a splash before the lockout because December 1st, the collective bargaining agreement ends for Major League Baseball. And if the MLB or if the owners lock out, then no transactions can happen during that time period. So the the Texas Rangers have backed up what they have said that they were going to do this offseason, which was spend. And so far they've done that. And they went out, signed Marcus Simeon, um, well, the shortstop slash second baseman. He was in a candidate to win MVP. We all know he wasn't, but he had an spectacular season. We went on to sign John Gray and right now Cole Calhoun, which figures to be in the mix for the outfield, probably right field. And you can have Adoles Garcia play center field. 